our online video class of chemistry. I hope all of you are doing well and safe. We had completed our first chapter. The solid stage. Today we are going to start new chapter solutions. From your lower class, you have studied about solutions. What do you think about solution? What is solution? Is the solution is dissolution of any salt in water. You had learned that most of the substances around us are misters. We are rarely come across pure substance. And this misters are the combination of two or more pure substance. And their importance in life depends on its composition. For example, the properties of brass it's depend on its mixture. It's a mixture of copper and zinc are quite different from those of German silver. It is a mixture of copper, zinc and nickel. These are different from that of bronze. It's a mixture of copper and tin. All these are alloys. One part per million of fluoride ion in water prevents tooth decay while 1.5 ppm causes the tooth to become malted and high concentration of fluoride ions can be poison. For example, sodium fluoride is used in rat poison. All this are depends upon its composition. In the case of fluoride, what happens? As the concentration increases, it changes to poison. So the composition of misters are important in our life. In this unit, we will consider mostly liquid solutions and their formation. And also we will study about its properties like vapor pressure, colligative properties and, and various alternatives in which concentration of a solute can be expressed in liquid solution. What is a solution? A homogeneous mixture of two or more pure non-reacting substances whose composition can be varied within certain limits are solution. Or we can say solution is the homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. What do you mean by homogeneous mixture? By homogeneous mixture, we mean that its composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixture. In the case of solution of sugar in water, sugar acts as a solute while water is the solvent. Then what is solvent and solute? In binary solution, the part which is present in larger amount is called solvent and the part which is present in Lesser amount is called a solute. What is a binary solution? A solution which has two components is known as binary solution. NaCl in water, sugar in water, all these are examples of binary solution. In this chapter, we are only discussing about binary solutions. And I have told you, what is binary solution? Binary solution is the Solution which has two components. Here each component may be solid, liquid or in gaseous stage. Depending upon the nature of component acting as solvent, it is classified as solid, liquid and gaseous solution. Gaseous solution are of three types. Gas in gas liquid in gas and solid in gas. Here gas is acting as solvent. In the case of gas in gas, two components are in gaseous state. One acts as solute, other acts as solvent. Liquid solution. Liquid solution are of three types. Gas in liquid, liquid in liquid and solid in liquid. In the case of liquid in liquid, 
both the components are in liquid state one is acting as solute and other is solvent solid solution solid solution it is also of three types gas in solid liquid in solid and solid in solid the case of solid in solid both the components are in solid state one act as solvent other act as solute there are total of nine binary solutions let us study some examples for these solutions gaseous solution gas in gas example is air oxygen in nitrogen is an example for gas in gas liquid in gas chloroform in nitrogen solid in gas camphor in nitrogen liquid solution gas in liquid oxygen in water liquid in liquid ethanol in water solid in liquid glucose in water solid solution gas in solid example is hydrogen in palladium liquid in solid mercury in sodium solid in solid copper in gold is an example can you see any other example for solid in solid alloys of metal it is example of solid in solid another example for liquid in liquid is mixtures of miscible liquid such as alcohol in water benzene in toluene humidity in air is an example for liquid in gas next we are going to study about how to express concentration of a solution this a concentration of solution concentration of a solution implies the amount of solute present in a given quantity of solution or the solvent thus while expressing concentration of a solution only the relative amount of components are considered the concentration of a binary solution can be expressed in number of ways there are different ways by which we can describe the concentration of the solution quantitatively that are volume percentage mass percentage mass by volume percentage mole fraction molality molarity normality and parts per million first is mass percentage mass percentage is the amount of solute in grams dissolved per 100 gram of a solution mass percentage equal to mass of the component in the solution divided by total mass of the solution into 100 what is mass percentage mass percentage is the weight of the solute present per 100 units of the solution example 10 percentage glucose in water means 10 gram of glucose in 90 gram of water concentration described by mass percentage is commonly used in industrial chemical applications for example commercial bleaching solution contain 3.62 mass percentage of sodium hypochlorite in water next is volume percentage volume percentage is defined as the volume of a solute dissolved per 100 ml of solution volume percentage equals volume of the component divided by total volume of the solution into 100 example 10 percentage ethanol solution in water means 10 ml of ethanol is dissolved in 90 ml of water both mass percentage and volume percentage are simply ratios and have no units 
concentration can also be expressed in terms of weight by volume. For example, 10 percentage solution KCl means 10 gram of salt are dissolved in 100 ml of the solution. Mass by volume percentage it is defined as mass of solute dissolved per 100 ml of solution. It is commonly used in medicine and pharmacy. Mass or volume percentage of the solution equal mass of the solute divided by total volume of the solution into 100. 23 percentage glucose solution means 23 gram of glucose dissolved in 100 ml of water. Another example is 0.16 percentage saline means 0.16 gram of NaCl is dissolved in 100 ml of solution. Next one is parts per million or ppm. When a solute is present in small quantities that is very minute amounts it is easier to express the concentration in parts per million. It is defined as the amount of substance in grams in 10 to the power of 6 gram of solution. ppm equals number of parts of the component divided by total number of parts of all components in the solution. That is mass of the solution into 10 to the power of 6 and the parts per million can be expressed both in terms of weight and volume. Next expression is small fraction. It is the ratio of number of moles of particular component to the total number of moles of all component. Mole fraction of a component equal number of moles of the component divided by total number of moles of all components mole fraction of a equals na divided by na plus nb where na is the number of moles of component a and nb is the number of moles of component b then mole fraction of b equal xb equals nb divided by na plus nb then xa plus xb equals 1 molarity it is expressed by capital letter m it is defined as the number of moles of a solute dissolving 1 liter of a solution m equal number of moles of solute divided by Total volume of the solution in liter. Mass of the solute into 1000 divided by molar mass of the solute into volume of the solution in ml. We can express it as m equals np divided by v into 1000. Where np is the number of moles of solute. V is the volume of the solution in milliliter. Or we can replace NB equals WB by MB. Where WB is the amount of solute and MB is the molecular weight of the solute. Molality it is represented by small letter m. It is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 kilogram of solvent. Molality equal moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. We can represent it as small letter m equals np divided by wa in 2000. Here np is the number of moles of solute, wa is the weight of solvent in grams. can express it as wa into 1000 divided by mb into wa where 
W A is the amount of solute and M B is the molecular weight of the solute. In this chapter, we have discussed about solution and nine type of binary solutions and way of expressing concentration of the solution. I hope you might have understood what we learned today.